What's up, folks? So if you don't know, a fairly prominent member of the YouTube gun community, Paul Harrell, passed away last week. And that sucks because Paul just seemed like genuinely a good guy. And, and that's what I'm taking away from this situation. I, I feel that I, I'm refreshed to see how much people really have supported Paul Harrell through his, his cancer and just how, how receptive people are to the kind of content that Paul made. And, you know, if you ever watched his content, it's, it's not fancy, it's not loud and ostentatious. Like, he didn't have fancy intro sequences and, and stuff like that. And his, his delivery was just reasoned and thoughtful and... I, and some, I think some people said he was kind of long-winded, but and so am I, <laughs> you know. But he he approached things just with, with a level-headed, just smart, well-thought-out perspective. And, you know, he wasn't prescriptive in the stuff he would say. Like, he didn't, you know, jump on the bandwagon of the latest tactical group thing. He, he, it was clear that he had his own perspectives that were that were honed and developed over genuine like genuine experience with firearms and um you know I, I remember watching one of his pieces on like you know technique and just how to shoot effectively and um yeah he'd talk about stance in the sense of you know you he, he used the term athletic stance and he's like you know get get something that works for you get something that's comfortable for you and he, he was never, like I said, super prescriptive about what you had to do. And, and I found that refreshing. And he, he never disparaged other people, though he, he did have kind of a, a quote unquote beef with another somewhat prominent um, figure in internet gun culture. And it's interesting to see how that played out. I, I won't get into the specifics of that. But um, in any case, I, I guess my takeaway from from Paul, from watching Paul and then the unfortunate, you know, progression of his cancer and his recent passing is that people really appreciated a guy who was just genuine, a guy who wasn't afraid to be himself, a guy who just spoke from his heart, said what he knew, and, you know, was, was a nice guy about it. And, and I think that speaks well of us as a online gun community. The fact that people did appreciate that and they embraced that and, you know, people rallied to, to help him grow to a million subscribers and, you know, that's that's awesome. It's It shows that people value someone who isn't a dick and doesn't need to be a dick and doesn't need to, you know, create drama to, you know, achieve growth in, in the modern internet scene. So... That's that's kind of what um, I've been thinking about, you know, as it relates to Paul. And I guess it's it sucks that he died, but perhaps there is that that kernel of, of good that we can take from that um, unfortunate occurrence. In any case, thank you, Paul. Um, rest in peace, and thank you for all you've done for um, modern gun culture and all of us. Take care.